Hello everyone, this is Ms. Iman from The Knowledge Land. Welcome to my channel where creativity is explored through hands-on learning and fun teaching resources. In today's video, I will introduce a free resource book that you can use with your child to teach him the 2D shapes. And I will do another video that can assist you with your child to teach him the 3D shapes. But before I get started, I would like to mention four advantages of teaching your child the shapes in very young age. Advantage number one is that the child will be able to recognize the differences in the formation of the letters. So um, this will develop your child's capabilities in writing skills. Advantage number two is that the child can understand some mathematics uh, concepts such as sorting and comparison in very easy way. So this happens when you ask your child to group some objects according to their shapes. So you're asking him to sort or to compare objects to find out the proper object for this shape. Advantage number three is that the child can develop some kind of problem solving skills. And this happens when you're playing with your child some shapes puzzles. So you will ask your child to spot the right place of its shape. And this is kind of a problem solving skills. And the last advantage is that the child can develop some verbal language. He can describe objects in his environment according to shapes. And this is, of course, a very important skill for the young learners. If you are interested in watching my resource and how you can implement this in your home or in your teaching and teaching your child, keep on watching. And here we are. So this is my free resource book to teach your child uh, 2D shapes. And I've divided this book into four sections. This is section number one, this is section number two, this is section number three, and this is the last section. So in section number one, the child will learn a song for each shape and will go through a shape hunt uh, activity. So you can use a washable marker or dry erase marker or even your Play-Doh so, and ask your child to trace the shape. I usually prefer the Play-Doh because uh, I feel that the Play-Doh is very engaging for young children and uh, it's a kind of developing some kind of motor skills. So the child, I'm going to do this and then I will, uh, I will just sing all the songs so you know the rhyme of each one. So it goes like this. A circle like a ball, a circle like a ball, round and round, it never stops at all. So the child will keep singing the song while he's tracing the shape. A circle like a ball, a circle like a ball, round and round, it never stops at all. A circle like a ball, a circle like a ball, round and round, it never stops at all. And here's the shape. And then the child will be asked to find the shapes in the table below. So you can use magnets or any kind of the cube so he can label, or even he can use the dry erase marker to label, to mark the shapes that is uh, right on the top here. So this is a circle. Can you find all the circles on the table below? Yes, this is a circle. This is a circle. This is a circle. And this is a circle. And this is a circle. Um, one, one more uh, thing that I would like to grab your attention to is that don't ask the child especially when he doesn't know all the shapes properly. Don't ask him, what is this shape? What is this shape? What is this shape? No, you can ask your child, is this a circle? Is this a circle? Is this a circle? If you want him to recognize the shapes that is displayed on the top here. Later on, when the child knows all the shapes, he can, uh, you can ask him, what shape is this? Do you see any circle here? Or um, if, the, if this is not a circle, what is this shape? not in the very beginning uh, try of the book. So uh, on the yellow section here, I'm showing you or I'm giving you a rhyme for a shape and a shape hunt activity. So this goes like this. Triangle has three sides. 
Triangle has three sides. Up the mountain, down and back. And here, rectangles, rectangles have four sides. Two are short, two are long. Please give it a try. And this is for the diamond. I'm a diamond, I'm a diamond. I'm as pretty as could be. I have four sides and four corners and some kites look like me. And this is for the square. It is a square. It is a square. How can you tell? How can you tell? It has four sides, all the same size. It's a square. It's a square. And this is for uh, the oval. I look just like circle that has been squashed up on the floor. Now I am an oval and I'm less grand than before. And here we are. These are only the shapes that I'm introducing in this book. The second activity or the second section of the book, uh, it has also th two activities. The first activity is says, with a Play-Doh and toothpicks, try to do some tricks and find out the right answer. So and this is a very beneficial activity since the child will recognize that some shapes have sides while other they don't have any kind of sides, any sides. So for here, for example, he cannot use the toothpicks. The only thing that he's able to use is the Play-Doh. So he will use again the Play-Doh to trace the, uh, the shape. And then he will go the, through this. How many sides does a circle have? The circle has only has zero sides since he didn't use any, any toothpicks. He used only the Play-Doh. And this is how many corners does a circle have? The circle has zero corner. So for here, the child, for example, for the triangle, rectangle, diamond, and the other shapes, except the oval, of course, the child can use the toothpicks and he can use the, the Play-Doh to build, um, to build the, the shape in here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uh, show you one example, then I'm gonna show you another nice activity that I do with my children uh, for the 2D shapes. So here, this is one side, two sides, one corners, two corners, and this is a three corners, and here is, we close it, and here we have the triangle. So I have a three corners, and I used three toothpicks. This means a three sides. So how many sides does a triangle have? The triangle has, um, three sides and how many corners does the triangle have the triangle has a three corners another nice uh, toy that I'm using with my children to teach them about the sides is this magnetic uh, sticks so these are the corners over here and these are the sides so if I'm gonna build a um, if I want to build a triangle I need a three corners and I need a three sides so here we are. So how many, for example, how many corners do you see in a triangle? I see three corners, oh sorry. I see three corners and how many sides do you see in the triangle? I see three sides. And so if you have this kind of magnetic balls and sticks, you can use it to build the shape uh, displayed on the paper. If you don't have it, so you can use only um, the sticks and the play-doh to use uh, to build the shape so here uh, again this is for the rectangle so you can use the toothpicks and the play-doh or you can use this so for rectangles for example he needs too short and he needs too long so here is one short and here is these are four corners and we have we need too short, as the song says, too short and too long sides. So how many corners did I use? I used four corners and how many sides did I use? I used four sides. So this is a very good activity uh, to introduce the corners and the sides for the 2D shapes. So here for the diamond, for the square, for the oval, do you see here? There are no corners and there are no sides. So it's similar to the circle one.
In this section, the child will look at the shape over here, will name it, and then will we will find the objects that look like this shape. So this is a circle. Can you point to the other? Um, can you find the uh, the object that look like a circle? Yes, a button, a pizza, and a donut. Okay, what is this shape? This is a triangle. Can you find all the shapes, all the objects that shaped like a, uh, like a triangle? Sorry. So this is a mistake here. Uh, this is a triangle. And this is a triangle. And this is a triangle. So on each one, on each paper, the child will name the object and then uh, will find the object that look like the shape displayed right on the top. After this section, in this this one here, he, we can review all the shapes. So he can name all the shapes and find out the object that look like this shape. So here's this is a circle, this is a triangle, this is a rectangle, this is a diamond, a square, and an oval shape. And uh the last one here, this is the assessment paper. So the child will be asked to name all the shapes. So he can name all the shapes. So what is this shape? This is a circle. This is a diamond. This is a square. This is a rectangle. This is an oval. And this is a rectangle. So when he name, uh, when he, or when he's able to name all the shapes, he will color this face since he he did it all right if he does like uh let's see 45 percent he will color this and this means try again this means like good try but let's try one more so this is a kind of naming the shapes but when you are asking or when you're assessing your child if he's able to recognize the shape uh, you will ask you will give him the name of the shape and you will wait till he finds the answer so it it goes like this. Can you find for me a diamond shape? Yes, this is a diamond. Can you find the oval shape? Yes, this is an oval. Can you find the rectangle? And so on. So, or if you have uh, some kind of uh, puzzles, for example, you can ask him, okay, where's the square? Here's the square. Where's the circle? Here's the circle. And you can finish it all right this way. So, uh, when he does this, of course, he will color this. If he does it all 100% right, 45%, 75% is this uh, is this face. When he does it all right and he did a very great achievement, he will take this certificate. You can write his name, and this is kind of. Um, like uh, thanking him or giving him um, a motive, uh, sorry, a motivation to complete and to try this over and over again. So this is for the 2D shapes. I'm gonna do another video soon for the 3D shapes. If you are interested on my resources, please subscribe and um, turn on the notification button. See you later on another video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.